Take your time. We don't got anything to do today. Hey. About time. Hey everyone, glad to be Brack. Brack. <laughs> Brack? I'm in. I'm in. <laughs> it's been a while. We've got Trevor is back. He is a full-time firefighter now, but the good thing is he works 48 on. No. What, what is it? See, you, oh, you want to retake the whole thing? Let's just, no, let's keep rolling, keep rolling. 24 on, 48 off. Okay, he works 24 day. hours on, then you get two days off. So, we grabbed him, he's gonna help us today. He's packing cotton, all the other guys are picking peanuts, we're overlapping. We are walking to the cotton picker right now. We got 20 acres of dry land cotton to pick, and then we've got another 60 acres of dry land cotton to pick. So hopefully everything goes well today, and we have a super great day. Are you excited? I'm very excited. Yeah, it's been a while. Bam, just like that. Already got the end rows picked, and uh, one round. Cotton's actually really good for dry land cotton. This is gonna be bumping some two bale cotton. Got the module builder set up. There's Trevor. About the dump in it. First dump of cotton for the year, 2023. Such a fun job packing cotton. It's really satisfying. You know, not much to it. Just moving levers. But it's fun. All right, everybody, and welcome to Picking Florida Cotton. This is Delta Pine 2020 dry land, and it looks really good. We've already taken two dumps and uh, really haven't even picked a whole lot of cotton yet. Got a bunch of aggravating short rows right here, and then they get to the longer rows. Favorite thing to do, pick cotton, hands down. Just made a little bit of a boo-boo. Uh, Trevor's cutting stalks over there. So I dumped the second load of cotton, the builder, and I spilt a pretty good amount. My bad, my bad. We'll get it up, throw it back in there. Kind of stretched thin this time of the year. We're overlapping uh, with peanut harvest and cotton harvest. So once we get kicked off fully with cotton, we'll be running the bowl buggy. So picker stays in the field, saves a whole lot of time. A lot of people always comment, just get you a round roll picker, then one guy can do the job. But this picker's paid for, so at the end of the day, it's making us money. Whereas if we bought a round roller picker, obviously there's no way we would buy a brand new one. We would get a, a used one, but then that would be a payment every year. So we're gonna run this one until it's just not economically feasible to keep uh, repairing it. Spilled a little bit of cotton there, Trevor, but not a whole lot. I said I accidentally spilt a little bit of cotton. I'm sure you see it by now. It's hard to find good help. I need to adjust my mirrors a little bit. What was that, big man? Come again, T Dog. What was that that you said? I can't even remember. I said I love you and I'm glad you're back. I turned my two weeks notice. Trevor is my nephew. So immature. I would never act like that. Third dump of the day. module of the day number one of the year usually we can get around 13 to 15 bells per module each bell weighing around 500 pounds am i talking really loud i my airpods in beautiful 
self tarping. Looking good. Looking real good. No wind, so that's always nice. The wind's blowing, it makes it impossible to tarp these things. A little bit. Come on, a little bit more. Whoa! Caddy Wampus on us. Do the honors. Kick it. Golly, that double H does it every time. Use the code Field Rose to save 10%. 15% on a pair of rock rooster boots. Right after you said no. Where, where's your rock roosters? They're at the house. Didn't you get a brand new pair of I rock got roosters? A brand new pair. They're comfortable. And I'm actually kind of sad. These double H's kind of on my feet. They're Do they? Hard. Yeah, those are dad's old boots from back in the day. There it is. Good job. I keep on gnats. Gnats, yeah, gnats getting your face, eyes, but yeah, Trevor did a good job. Still got it. Still got it. A lot of times you can get a little hump in the middle, make them look funky, but as a whole for the first one of the year, that looks pretty good. Camera ready? How do I look? I look good? All right, Trevor is in the cab with me now. We are uh, slowly but surely about to knock this field out. Got a little issue with this right side trying to blow out cotton. Trevor, as a whole, how would you say the day's going? Scale one to ten, I'd have to say a seven point five, maybe. Yeah. Uh, just what would make it a ten? What would make it a ten? Well, that hole would be fixed first off. Yeah. Maybe a little bit cooler breeze outside, that'd be nice. Uh, oh, I really messed that up. And Jim not messing up the rows. You made me lose count. I, I made him lose count. So, yeah, it's been a it's been a pretty good day. This is, some actually pretty good looking cotton mm -hmm. for dry land cotton, right, Jim? Looks great. It's Delta Pine 2020. Delta Pine 2020. Popular, popular pick this year? I think. It might be 2012. 2012. One or the other. So you've been a firefighter officially for how many months? I'd say about three. Three months? How many cats have you rescued out of trees? None? Zero. 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 It's not like the movies. So you don't... Firefighters are not called for cats and trees. Uh, I think we... I think you can be called for that, but yeah. I haven't encountered any. You know, it's just kind of the joke. You know, yeah. The firefighter. Do you hear that a lot? Uh... Between I, police officers? I now make the joke. Yeah. But, like, I haven't really heard or got a call about cats and trees yet. So. I can tell it kind of aggravates you a little bit well, when, I, when I joke about the cats. Oh, no. No? You're it good? doesn't aggravate me. I find it funny, too. So, what do you like better? Farming with me, having fun, Fire making me... <laughs> <laughs> that was good. So, Trevor, you're a young cat. Yes. Just turned 20 this July. Um, That's right. Haven't had a whole lot of experience in the workforce, but... What would you rate me as your supervisor for the whole year you work in the farm? Oh, like, do you feel you got ample instructions? No. To do your, no? Ample instruct. yes, I got ample instructions yes. to do my job, but it was a thrown to the wolves category. Yeah. Uh, I got maybe two or three rows training on any equipment. Yeah. Tops. Maybe about a round and a half, a round and a through. And then it was, you're free to go, you know, just don't tear up anything. So, uh, yeah, the train, I mean, the train was, you know, a little bit scary at times. Yeah. But well, I would say the training was so efficient. It was so, it was efficient. There's no need to waste any more time. Yeah. I felt that you were comfortable with the task at hand. That's right. I, I, overall, 9.4 on right. the supervisor. Supervisor. 9.4 on supervisor scale. What was your least favorite job? Oh, I 
I can tell you right now what my least favorite job was, was cleaning out the radiators. Yeah? That was my least favorite. I hated cleaning out the radiators. It took forever. We ain't going to make it. But I know a little trick. Oh. Jim is now dumping cotton <laughs> to get more cotton so we can finish out the row. The trick is you dump out a bunch of cotton to make it to the end of the row. So, Jim. Yeah. What has been, what is the best job on the farm? Hands down, picking cotton. Picking cotton. It's a lot of fun. Is that That's why crazy. you do picking cotton? Is that why you pick cotton more than anyone else? I hardly ever pick cotton now, honestly. What are we doing right now, Jim? What are you doing? I'm picking cotton just because well. uh, Keithy, he's the cotton picker. He's picking peanuts, so. But yes, from 2012 to about 2018, picked every acre of cotton on this farm. Really? No yeah. sick days, nothing? Never. You know how many days I've missed since I've started working full time? Three. And what were they? It's when my children were born. That was just the only one? Just missed the day that they were born. Okay. Right back to work. Right back to work. We are headed now to the module builder and Trevor's going to pack the cotton. number two and I did it again spilt some cotton just, I just can't get it together sorry sorry okay number two for the day tarps ready to roll what we'll do now is uh, at some point call the cotton gin hey we got three modules on this farm number. They give us a special number, we'll spray paint on the side of it, so that they, then when they come and pick it up, they know that, okay, hey, this goes to this farmer under this farm name. Uh, it's this variety of cotton. I don't know why he just pulled it up so far. Just did make it. We've got issues with our Packer, so I'm having to run into manual. Uh, the gears have stripped out. We've replaced them, and then they strip out. It's got the augers inside there that pack your cotton. So if you let it pack too much, you're grinding gear. So would like to mention uh, we've got a definite time for the Let's, Let's Get, Get nuts, nuts live show, Sunbelt Ag Expo with Randy the Farmer and the president of Amadis, Jimmy Adams. That will be 11 o'clock on Wednesday, October the 18th, Moultrie, Georgia, Sunbelt Ag Expo. Guys, make sure you come out, live taping of the show, uh, come say hi. Uh, I will be there, uh, I, will, I, will, I will be there. Randy will be there, Keefe, Jeff, Kyle, Dad, Trevor's coming out, so can meet the whole crew. Uh, I will also be there Thursday, so looking forward to it, should be a great time. All right, we're about to pull off number three. That's a wrap on uh, this field. Now we're about to head over to the little, uh, it's not little, it's bigger than this field, 60 acre dry land field. We got one, two, dad already. Dad's here, he's parked in the way at number three. Now this field's not gonna be as good as where we were. Dirt's a little bit sandier, so yeah, won't be as good, but we'll see.
gonna call it a little early. Trevor said he wasn't working past six o'clock, so <laughs> no, I'm joking. Uh, got a little bit of an issue with the number five shoot there. For some reason, uh, it's just wasting a bunch of cotton. So we have, uh, gonna hold it. Uh, Try to lower the basket a little bit. That helped a little bit. And then it just starts blowing out a lot of cotton. So I don't know. We'll look at it in the morning, see what Keefe thinks about it. Uh, maybe we can move it back a little bit or something has happened. It's a little bit of out of adjustment. So we got to figure that out and uh, start back picking tomorrow. Trevor, appreciate you so much coming today and helping me out running the module builder. Have to say you did a fantastic job. You want to get that jack for me? It's hard. Yeah. Thanks. That's good? Perfect. You want to get that for me real quick? Thanks. Oh. You want to get that for me real quick? Thank you. Oh. You want to get that for me real quick? Uh, you want to get that for me real quick? Thanks. You get this for me real quick? 